everything inside me. Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are healthy. Anyway, today's video is quite short, but maybe this is the most valuable 5 minutes of your life. So, without further ado, let's get started. A belief in heaven, is a belief in God. God is bliss, the heaven we actually seek. A belief in heaven, is an assertion of the immortality of the soul, and the moral order of the universe. Without this faith, we'll never see heaven on earth. We're seeing hell instead. Disclaimer. I measure a belief on the effect it has on the believer's life and on society as a whole. Right or wrong, the correct belief is the most wholesome and constructive one, resulting in the most personal happiness and social well-being. But in my opinion, the immortality of the soul is also objectively true. Do you wish you could relive parts of your past? Are there people you wish you'd gotten to know better? Have you made mistakes that continue to haunt you in the present day? I would answer yes to all three questions. While we cannot change the past, we can certainly change the present. We can begin living better right now. If you don't want to have regrets, shower your favorite people with attention today. If you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. If you've lived a sinful life, and hold no hope for the future, you still have time to turn things around. St. Alphonsus Liguri says, If you were promised all the money, that you could count in a day, would you waste a second? Your remaining time here on earth, is exactly like that. Only instead of counting money, you have the opportunity to do good, to secure yourself an afterlife in heaven. Don't concern yourself with money, prestige, or material possessions. God doesn't care about any of those things. They're actually hindrances. Some say, time is money. But, time is actually much more valuable than any material possession you can name. You can avoid regret in your future, by living a life of grace and love today. Make love the guiding light of your life. Immerse yourself into living God's will, not your own. Doing so is a day-by-day, moment-by-moment decision on your part. Make the effort. Do what you know you should be doing, what you were put on this earth to do. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. If you're a young person, be aware that life passes in the blink of an eye. Always do the right thing. With every decision, ask yourself, would God approve of this? If the answer is no, or even maybe not, then don't do it. If you don't want to live a life of regrets, then don't do anything that will lead to regrets later. It's obvious, we are living in the end times. Anyone who denies that, is an idiot. We all have to choose sides. You have to choose a side. Are you with God, or are you with the Satanists? Don't let fear dictate your decision. Don't let the bastards Connor frighten you into taking a deadly, the mark of the beast. Don't let them bambazzle you into believing their anti-racist claptrap. It's all a magnificent hoax. Stand your ground. Look fear in the eye, and say, no. If there are people in your life who don't understand this, who think you've gone off the deep end, cut them loose. Otherwise, you will be dragged down to hell with them. Fear is contagious, you don't want people like that anywhere around you. Love is contagious too. Are you up for the challenge? Are you up for saying yes to love, and no to fear? Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video.